I don't know if you can see it. You can maybe just make it out. Anyway, Monday, 23rd November 2020. It's about quarter to seven. And that is the Bedwars Christmas tree. Smaller and lit and eco sound. Off to Cardiff. Uh, nearly missed the train, thanks to the late bus. I uh, helped someone at the station, Cardiff Central. Cross the bacon and coffee roll. Coffee roll, maybe not. Here to start. So I had that Muscovite thing because the bar in here doesn't open till 9 o'clock. I know all the humanity anyway. This is Bombardier by the Eagle Brewery, 4.1% alcohol by volume it says. Reddish brown in colour. It is. Okay, not too cold, not too warm. Christmas menu. Hmm. Fruity. A little bit sweet, maybe a touch of caramel. Hmm. Gently. Oh, hmm. not very bitter. I have got B plus in a bit, 3.2. Same people as the Golden Lion in Park and the Penelope in Newport. Things vaults and it's open. So here's the plan. Oh, and there are tons of currants here. I think I had a curry last time I was here, which according to my thing was 2018. Anyway, we've got in Royal Craft which I find quite funny. 3.6% alcohol by volume. This is on the corner, the other side of the corner is Blue Dog. It's all good timing. So, nice glass. Nice looking pint. No table numbers. Beer mats. Gotta have beer mats. Sweet, malty, hint of lemon bitter in the finish. B plus. Might be a little bit better when it warms up. It's a little bit cool at the moment. Yeah, it's not just the English who have warm beer. This is how close. Queen's Falls. Bulldog. Very close. Carbon negative, all uppercase. Anyway, there were a couple of issues of passwords and such like. However, discount. Brewing by numbers. Cherry goes. 6% alcohol by volume. Lovely colour. Mmm, extremely fruity, maybe a little bit tart on the nose. He says, like, you know what he's talking about. Mmm. Sweet and sour. And tasty and full. That's B plus plus in a bit. Three point seven. You need to learn something new every day. Today I learned Overworks is Brew Dog's sour division. And this is their prototypical session sour at 4.5% alcohol by volume. Brandy glass. Mr. Manning, solid flooring. Ooh, that is very, very, very good. So it starts out sour and tart, and then you've got like a complex, woody, bitter finish. That's another B plus plus in a bit. 
3.7 and the glass was sticking to my hand. It was rather cold, however, it was worth it. Look what's just arrived, he says, trying to get the phone to unlock. Here we go. Okay, so on the right, XL Brewing Cherry Sour from Clark and Well. Clark and Well. I know Clark and Well quite well. There's a Belgian beer bar and uh, there was craft beer bar. Craft beer? Well, I can't remember. Anyway, so this is. It doesn't say, actually, 6.3%. Uh, it's Hippo's Creek, so nice, nice. Uh, smells woody. That's completely different. That's B plus in a bit, and across from there, Junction Jam from Gypsy Hill and you know Gypsy Hill 8.5% ice distilled Imperium fruit sour honeyberries raspberries blackberries just 8.5% smells lovely oh wow really fruity really full Huge finish. Yeah, I'm gonna have some of that, but I'm gonna check into them. Sales technique. Sampler. Junction Jam. Gypsy Hill 8.5% alcohol by volume. Might not be diet, but is vegan friendly. So's the floor. Yes, and this is my last, and in case anyone asks, especially if they're on Mastodon, not kettle soured, Cherry Sour Nova, big name, 6.1%, no, 5.1% alcohol by volume on Manac Beer Co. from California, like most of my podcasts. Lovely colour. Gently sour aroma. Mmm. Sour but woody, oaky and nicely complex. B plus plus.